The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. We're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hello, I'm Gene Nassif, an attorney here at O'Flaherty Law. My practice areas include business transactional matters as well as some uh, landlord-tenant issues and family law. Now, today we're going to talk about wage garnishment in Iowa. Wage garnishment is the amount creditors can take from your paychecks for the repayment of debt you owe. In Iowa, state and federal garnishment laws apply, although Iowa garnishment laws are more strict than federal laws as they create caps on the total sum certain creditors may garnish. In short, creditors are limit limited to collecting 25% of net wages after deductions in Iowa. There are a few exceptions to the rule, but this is the general rule. Now, what is wage garnishment? Wage garnishment also known as wage attachment, is an order from the court or government agency that allows creditors to have your employer take money out of your paycheck and pay it directly to them. Different types of debt have different rules and laws that apply to them. Under Iowa law, there are limits to how much certain creditors can take from your wages. Now, when can a creditor garnish your wages in Iowa? Most creditors can't can't get the wage garnishment order until after they have gone to the court and obtained a judgment stating that you owe the creditor money. For example, if you owe money to a credit card company or hospital, they'll first have to go to the court and get a judgment against you before they can collect money from your paychecks. There are a few exceptions to this general rule, mainly in situations where the government is involved. Your wages can be garnished without a judgment for child support orders, child support arrears, unpaid income taxes, or defaults on student loans. Now, what are the limits to wage garnishment in Iowa? There are statutory limitations to how much money can be garnished from your paycheck. In short, federal and Iowa law wants to leave you with enough money to pay your living expenses. Federal, federal law places limits on garnishments, and Iowa follows federal law for the percentage of a paycheck that can be garnished. During a work week, creditors may only garnish the lesser of the following. One, 25% of your disposable earnings, or two, the amount by which your weekly disposable earnings exceed 30 times the federal minimum wage. Disposable earnings are what's left after your employer has made their deductions. Iowa wage garnishment laws place an additional cap on the aggregate amount that each judgment creditor can garnish during a single calendar year. This applies no matter how many judgments somebody has. Now, Iowa has a few caps that range from $250 for somebody making below $12,000 per year to 10% of your wages if you make over $50,000 per year. Now, these limits have exceptions for child support, unpaid taxes, and student loans. If you owe child support, unpaid taxes, or student loans, the government or or creditor can garnish your wages without a judgment from the court. Also, they are not uh, bound by the previously mentioned uh, restrictions and caps. Let's next talk about student loan defaults. If you are in default on a federal student loan, the Department of Education or any company collecting on their behalf can collect from your wages without court judgment. And it's called an administrative garnishment. Federal law restricts the amount the Department of Education can garnish to 15% of your disposable income, but not more than 30 times the minimum wage. What about unpaid taxes? The federal government can garnish your wages if you owe back taxes. This can be done without a judgment from the court. The sum they can garnish depends on your deduction rate and how many dependents you have. Additionally, Iowa and local government can often garnish wages to collect unpaid taxes. What about child support? All court orders for child support include an order for automatic withholding of income. The other parent can additionally get a wage garnishment order from the court if the payer is behind. 
Iowa follows federal regulations when it comes to wage garnishment for child support. Up to 50% of disposable earnings may be garnished to pay child support if you're, supporting, if you're supporting a spouse or child who isn't subject to the order. If you aren't supporting a spouse or child, up to 60% of your earnings can get taken. An additional 5% may be garnished for support payments over 12 weeks. Iowa's maximum garnishment limits don't apply to alimony and child support. What about total garnishments? If you have multiple, what is the total amount that can be taken from your paychecks? If you have multiple garnishments, the total garnishment is limited to 25%. If you have a garnishment for taxes, for example, of 20% of your wages, let's say, the second wage garnishment may only collect that 5% of your wages. In other words, if you have multiple, the cap is 25%. Finally, can an employer fire you for having wage garnishment? Iowa and federal law protects you from being fired for having your wages garnished. Under federal law, your employer cannot discharge you if you have one wage garnishment. There aren't protections under federal law for multiple garnishment orders. However, in Iowa, an employer can't discharge you because of any wage garnishment. As always, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to our firm. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.